Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Last time we got the final key, and we started our preparations for the next boss. The big boss, and what a boss it is. Mm, dark keys. The last of this particular variety we'll ever have to deal with. Oh, I, I think so. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe... I don't know. Anyways, waste no time whatsoever in getting in here and picking up as much health as humanly possible. Hope to God you get some health because if you're a no dark suitor like me, ugh, piss hell. Literally piss hell. So, how about them, uh, about that stuff, huh, guys? Uh, what stuff? I don't know. Just stuff. Not quite sure what stuff I'm talking about, but... I may now access the temple. Ready for lunch. You know, when I just practiced this fight, I kicked its ass. Uh, I don't know. Something tells me that now that I'm on camera and now my attention's gonna be diverted between commentary and uh, actual playing, I'm gonna fuck up, aren't I? Who cares? Just dive right in, Lan. Ah, uh, I wonder what the boss could be here. Well? Hmm. Could it be this gi fucking normous quad? No, it couldn't be. Oh, ing, you sons of bitches. <sighs> we go. I introduce you guys to Quadraxis, the king of quads. Alright. So, scan him if you haven't already. And I would definitely suggest using super missiles. And that beam that he just shot at me, well, we'll be seeing a lot more of that really soon. Now, the big thing is, you want to shoot each knee, as it were, once, before anything else. And then once you've seen that you've hit everything at least once by the red dot, guess what? He loses a kneecap, you fire a power bomb in between his uh, feet things, and each of those gives you a, a ultra energy. Hey, I did it. Cool. And the nice thing is they each regenerate immediately, so the yellow energies definitely help. I'm gonna kick its ass harder than I did on my practice run, aren't I? Oh nice! Oh, I'm kicking your ass, Quaddy. But the big thing is it's it's a race against the clock, especially if you have Oh shit on me. Shoot! Ah, uh, it didn't work. Oh. Uh, and especially, uh, each time you blow up one of its toe things, uh, you get an ultra energy out of it. Come on, start activating. Good. All right, so I'm definitely well off. They only require two super missiles to destroy. So... With all the legs gone, the next phase starts. It's like, ah, you know what? I want to keep fighting, so I'm going to detach my fucking head. But this is the easiest phase of them. If you've gotten to this phase, you're pretty much set, especially with the amount of energy I have. So, while he's sitting there, go in your Echo Visor, shoot once, twice that antenna, and shoot each of these antennae, or antennae, once. And then shoot one of them twice. So then you only have to worry about shooting the other two antennae uh, one time each. Now, after he takes damage in this form, he's going to send out a dark quad to assist him. Of course, that's not much of a problem because it doesn't take forever. And once you get to the next phase, 
You don't even have to worry about the Dark Quad. It's just going to mysteriously disappear. This whole family's going to disappear. And did I mention this awesome boss music? I mean, th this fight has it all. Presentation, challenge, mild challenge. I mean, unless you've absolutely annihilated it as, ma as many times as I have and you've gotten used to the procedure. And look at all that. Two Ultra Energies behind me. And a lot of you have been asking, how are you going to tackle this land? Well, simple. This is how. So, fire upon it. Which direction is he going to go? This way. Am I going to make it? It's a good question. If I do make it, oh, I'm going to kick his ass. Look at this. Now, this is the definition of dominance right here. I don't like to toot my own horn. Well, yes, I do. But where are you going to go? Go this way again. Uh, I'm not gonna make it this time, but I will make it to the other leg. Now, as you guys can tell, you use your uh, boost ball to do the traditional puzzle of. Sorry about that. I had to sneeze. But that's it. Take that, you fuck. Easy. Easy, schmeasy. I don't have that morph ball. I don't. A jetpack either. Oh! Ouchie! Wow! And hey, that's it. That's Quadraxis. That's the most fun fight. I actually just made another save file just so that I could keep doing that boss because the presentation for this huge fucking robot is ridiculous. Annihilator Beam! This is mine, jerkweed. Anyways, what do we got here? The chocolate vanilla bean, as Nintendo Capri Sun likes to call it. It's essentially the wave beam, a palette swap of the wave beam, and that it homes in on enemies, and it's definitely very powerful. It's quick, too, so. It's like the wave beam, but with the speed and almost the power of the plasma beam. It's not actually that strong of a beam. But the speed is what makes it. Uh, no real chance of dying. I mean, I kicked his ass there. Um, but if you guys are having trouble, which way to go? Uh, probably this way. If you guys are having trouble, one of the things that I would highly recommend you do is use power bombs on his first phase and power bomb his feet after you have... Uh, you have destroyed one of his kneecaps because it's, it, the balls on his feet, the energy balls that cause the shock waves, they keep regenerating. So, I'm a bit of a fountain of knowledge for that fight. Quite a bit of practice. And now the final light of Aether to take. Well, it would be. We didn't have that fucking Sky Temple to deal with. But, that's another story for another day. Ugh. That's it, Samus. Suck it dry. Every ounce of it. And what happens? Well, wouldn't you like to know? Light is gone and this planet looks about to blow. This planet will blow in five minutes! Uh, sorry, it's... Uh, I give it one more minute, five more minutes. This is the old bird. I give it five more minutes. Most planets would have blown by now. Okay, Frieza. Enough. That was fun. I did awesome on that. Much better than my recording. Holy hell. So I guess being on camera sometimes isn't problem. So you guys saw it. Dark Suitless Quadraxis run. I love that fight. So, back to the Annihilator Beam. And, yeah, this definitely looks worse. Holy shit. It, it's definitely about to blow. So we want to go this way now. Chocolate, vanilla, swirl, and flavoring. And here's a problem. Ing storm. These are really corrosive. I mean, look at the damage I take. You can't even really kill these things, though, but you can ma be made immune to it. It's just... 
I'm not quite immune to it yet, so taking damage. Yeah, Ink Storm is the most toxic chemical in uh, Dark Aether. But, one nice little feature now? Well, maybe I'll tell you next time. But, let's just say, the light and dark beams aren't the only things that energize crystals. So, next time on Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes Wii Screen. Have a good day!